I'm never hungry again for this life because I'm at a gay restaurant. Hey, oh, the knocker. I know if you look into Saba. Hey, how I want to start to count all the blessings that the only thing I they suffer. I get to shock off fast. Because I'm at a gay car in my set. When I they talk about the man, I know me that get ready to for that supermarket. So what do you mean? I'm a Rachi. I'm a Rachi. I'm a Rachi. They need to run out for me. I'm a Rachi. I'm a Rachi. Amarachi, now you get run out for me. Hey, Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi. Amarachi. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Carrie. I'm going to start us off with a word of prayer and then we'll get right into gameplay. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this live stream. I ask that you saturate this atmosphere with your presence and bless us all here in ways that only you can, God. Um, I ask that we're, we're, we experience your rest and your favor, your love, and I pray that we have good fellowship in here today as well. I ask that you have your way, that you do it only you can do, and I thank you for it, Sovereign God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, guys. Welcome back. Um, let me pull up the game, and as always, let me know if if y'all can hear me over the music and stuff. If y'all can hear me well. Okay, so we're gonna grab Penny a Diamond. We're gonna say hey to Clarissa. Grab this. Say hey to Penny. Okay, so y'all, I made a list. I have been making lists lately for my um, content creation, and they've, they've been going, they've been doing very well, to say the absolute least. And so I wanted to check off some things on my list today, essentially, and that's 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 what this is. That's what this live stream is gonna be. So to start off with, I'm going to do my basic run of the mill everyday chores just really quickly. I forgot I made some more rice. Because I'm preparing to cook. Okay, so in a previous live stream, I checked Mr. Key's walnut room to see how much, like, how far I've, or how far I've progressed in my perfection journey. And we haven't really made it that far. With cooking, we've only done, like, look, we've only, I've, I've only done, I've only cooked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven recipes. I've only cooked seven recipes. Okay. Fluffy baby, just push some grass back so the pigs can have 
game mode because I can, it's like okay wait i can hear myself very loud and clear but i can barely hear the game can i like hold up this might just be a real crispy today i don't know i'm gonna thank god for the blessings it's like i can really hear myself up Just let me know. Um, I don't want to mess too much with the audio settings because that'll prevent y'all from hearing me in general. Can't have that. Okay, my little money maker. Let's, let's get ready to come outside. Okay. Also, y'all. check it out. I want to go buy some more star fruit, but high key, I think I did that in the previous episode. If I did, the seeds are going to be in here. They are. So we already got the star fruit. I need to go plant them on Ginger Island. I need to grab my grapes. Are they in the... Okay, actually, let me see. They are in the big ship. I'm going to throw these into the seed maker so I can get some more grapes. I'm going to do that right now. the rest of these trees and just profit off of mangoes and bananas lord willing so i want grape starters these are only harvestable in the fall i understand well let's put these in garden stuff Sell truffle oil. I need to check the shed as well for um, what's it called? This stuff. Um, do I have? I do. So one, two, three.
So these dried mushrooms are worth a lot of money. Um, okay. Um. Shells. Oh. Alright. Let me head over to the quarry. Um. Is today rats. So Sandy sells deluxe speed girl on Thursdays. There's a new fish I want to catch. Maybe it's because my TV is loud. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Where's my remote control? Cause hold on. No, it's on. Too myself so loudly but I can barely hear the game like what kind of mess is this problem was y'all my computer was actually turned down so that was that was on me okay If 
I'm not mistaken, and I feel like, I think I saw that bombs cannot blow this up. Let me use a cherry bomb. Bombs cannot blow these rocks up. So you have to use an upgraded pickaxe. This is where the golden scythe will be, but. Oh, snap! I right clicked on it and it sent me straight to the exit. Is that new? If it is, that's that's really cool and very convenient. Um, okay, well, ooh, wow, it's five o'clock. Um, we have a skeleton shirt and another ring and some stuff for Clint. Let's see, farmhouse. Farm, farm, Ginger Island, put that in there, and garden stuff, put this in here. Let me check out the traveling cart while I'm in this, like, in here. Um, and, okay, and, oh, flowers. Nice. I can try to catch that new fish as well. I don't know the hours that it's available to catch. It's in strawberries and cactus fruit jelly dried strawberries well we're making some right now praise the lord he wants cactus fruit jelly okay we have we have cactus fruit it is in the gifts thing and we're going to make some jelly out of it let's see farmhouse fridge Doki. Yeah. Also, guys, so I figured out God, by the grace of God, 
God blessed me to come across a video where I was able to see where the trinkets go. So the trinkets, let me put them. I got these two trinkets, the green frog egg and the golden spur. Um, they can go right here with the mod that I have. Usually there's only a slot for one and I increase the number of rings I can wear. Usually there's only a slot for one, but the, with the mod I have, there's a slot for two. Oh, and she sells summer seeds. Or she sells seasonal seeds. That's so sweet. But there, uh, she sells them like at a trade. Well, okay, so it's getting late. It's 920. Um, let me make this triple shot espresso and just call it for the night. What I'm gonna do in the morning, I'm gonna just pet all the animals and let them out. I'm not going to try to uh like do any chores because I feel like not nah, I feel like it does. It takes up most of my day. So um well, actually, no. I, I explored some. I explored some. Uh, let's see. <laughs> frog is so cute and imagine if you're like married to sebastian and you get that character or you get the trinket the frog trinket
like go in here and see if there are any animals still in here and then say hey to the fly after the fact. I am literally so tempted. good to go into town and still have like the rest of your day ahead of you, you know because usually I'll be going into town and it's like it'll be already like 12 <gasps> guys look what we have oh my gosh I haven't been over here in a hot minute okay oh my gosh there's a panning spot Shane's birthday. Um, is he at work? He doesn't have a job there anymore. Hold up. Where is he? Shaney Wayne. Today's your birthday work day. Okay, 
It's massive. Oh, hey, Willie, how you doing? I didn't know he was going, he could be over here. But this massive waterfall down here, I'm going to check it. Or not check it, I'm going to try to fish in it. Okay, this is the new fish. How much is it worth? It's worth two twenty-five by itself. Okay. some panning spots right here so let me go and try to oh, there is a panning spot bro it must be where I'm panning at panning location must have some must be a factor because them pans that I be seeing people do from Ginger Island uh uh them things be luxurious can I still I was about to say can I still get to the sewers down here? I forgot about you. What you want? Hold up. Who wants a survival burger? He's fat and cute. Okay, well let me try to grab this fish. We have two days left. I could have busted up a bunch of rocks in the quarry. survival burger because if we do do oh oh he's so fat and cute I thought it was a trash bear it's a raccoon Try to go into the river. Huh? Where are you going? This is my first time seeing this.
gosh, guys, that is my first time actually seeing that. I'm so excited. I want to go meet the puppy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. It's 610. The puppy will be there forever. Robin's resource rush ends in two days. Let's go back to the quarry. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's go back to the quarry. And let's, like, load it up with rocks. So we can collect all those rocks. Good piggies. Good piggies. Nice piggies. They did what they were supposed to do.
I need you to eat. Thank you. I just got a key gem from that skeleton. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, oh my gosh. Dried strawberries are the move for the preserve jars or the dehydrators. It's the move. It's the move. Either that or star fruit. Oh, Lord, mercy. Let's not blow up the babies. Who blaze doing walking into a chair? So persistent. She's right here. I literally did not see her there. Nah, because I feel like she just wasn't there. Like, I feel like she just wasn't there. The little frog recognizes whose family and who's not. I know it's a game, but it's just, I feel like it's cute. I mean, that's just me and my imagination, but I just, I just think it's cute.
really haven't been seeing any geos lately. Okay, so 
I'm gonna run over to. Sorry, I'm gonna run over to the quarry real quick, get the rest of those stones, and then we're gonna see that little fluffy baby in town. I wonder if that trash raccoon, the trash, what do they call cat? Oh, raccoons, trash cats. It looks like the rocks are spawning a lot, like sooner back in this quarry area. Hey, bro, how you doing? Over here talking trash. Uh, let's see. mentioned at the beginning of the stream but since you asked how I was doing um I won't be live on Wednesday so I have an uncle who um God has blessed him my aunt he, he married into the family God has blessed him and my aunt to always like support me and stuff over the years his brother just unexpectedly passed away and um uh I'm, I'm going to support him yeah, so I'm going to go support him. So that, uh, I won't be live Wednesday because of that. But yeah, he was really close to his brother.
this entire quarry of all its rocks? Oh my gosh, is there not like another side room or something? There's gotta be another side room. trying to get oh oh man i don't have it yet on this save file that explains a lot lol Thank you. 
not going to refill these kegs just yet. Where did I leave butter? sweets and the babies bro is she at work today <laughs> sake of time and making it pass quicker, I am actually going to do all my chores and then I'm going to run up to Rob and thanks. Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Gus. Appreciate you.
color this. We're going, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. this stuff again so let's see
So we need wood, I think, wood, and stone. We have like so much stone. Thank you. 
think it's this one. Okay, this is the original one. All right, so. Actually, before I do any of this, stone walkway. Mines. So you don't have that gap around your buildings, and I thought I think that's really nice. in a while oh what am I looking for random stuff extra stuff random stuff I guess I'll put it in here it's really fun like if you're into it's like a mix between Minecraft and Fortnite um I have actually thoroughly enjoyed it it just got really repetitive after a period of time. Let's see. I need a hundred stone. I will say they have updated the, the uh, Lego Fortnite a lot since I last played it. So there's that. Okay, one of these, get one of these. 
sold so many tea samples. Thank you. 
best achievement he got or whatever. Or how many villages is or however you want to say, like how far is it?
nice if you play Lego Fortnite.
Oh, you can't really hear me at all? Is this better? Okay, thanks. I, I moved my uh, microphone closer. I was about to be like, bro, you was about to get called out so bad. <laughs> I was about to be like, bro, if you couldn't hear me this entire time, how come you ain't saying nothing? <laughs> struggle to hear me or were you like oh I can hear you loud and clear Thank <laughs> you. 
Flower dance is over with. It spits us out right back at our said I can imagine us moving to a spot like this one day. I wonder if there's going to be an update like that where you could move houses and like how, kind of like how it is in like the um, Stardew Valley Expanded Mod if I'm not mistaken. You can purchase an additional plot of land and like just farm on it but you know now we can move our farmhouses in game in vanilla. So I wonder if it's going to be something like that in the future because well Concerned Ape is coming out with another update soon. I think sometime this month, if I'm not mistaken, Lord willing. But it's going to be, it's going to have something to do with mining and fishing. But people have been just like, he just, he just said mining and fishing. But they feel like it's going to be more than just that. Why is she running around so fast? That's so cute. <laughs> How fast she moving for no reason. It's so cute. Oh. Wait, she gonna move again. Why is she so fast? Toddlers are fast though. And just Vincent is just running around just playing and having fun. That's so precious. Where's the mayor? He's right here. Let's let's. Cannot skip this. It's okay. It's it's cute. Penny looks so happy. thinking I was like wait what am I doing okay I went came to put that down now I'm gonna close all these doors more iron bars so let me smelt some more um
did I do that? It's okay. I meant to make the pass. That was all of my stone. Man. We literally had 999 stone, so. So let me hurry up and purchase this recipe really quickly. Yes. I thought I had the stone chest recipe unlocked already, but I didn't. And so whenever you get a stone chest, you can put it, a large chest, you can put it on top of the older chest and it'll knock it out the way and put everything in here. Um. That's what I was wanting to do the other day, but I was like, wait, and then I was like, okay, I need to re complete Robin's resource rush so I could have access. So I could have access to, um, to the big chest. Okay, so let's see. Man, I thought we were going to make it to the bed, but it's okay. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to wrap it up. But what I was saying earlier, in case you were not able to hear me, I'm not going to be live on Wednesday. I'm going to a funeral, Lord willing. Um, but, um, 
I uploaded another Stardew Valley video to my YouTube channel and also another video to my personal YouTube channel. So you can check those links on my Twitch page. You can also check the links for my social, you can see the links, you can find the links to my social media um, outlets on my Twitch page as well. I really didn't talk a lot this stream because I was really focused on completing my list, or not completing it, but filling out stuff on it. Um, there are a couple of extra things that I did want to do, but I did, let me cross off some of this stuff. I did get the goby fish, and uh, I did finish the, the resource rush quest for Robin. I did put the grapes in the seed maker so I can get some more grapes. Because I want to dehydrate those, okay? And, uh, oh, excuse me. So, and Robin, she's not Robin, but Sandy sells Deluxe Speed Grow on Thursday. So, I want to, I want to hop into her shop on a Thursday. And I completely forgot about it in this stream, but it is okay. Because I was focusing on redecorating the farm it's just that has been one of my main things one of my main goals and i just haven't gotten around to it not at least in the way that i've been wanting to get around to it i have started touching on it over the past couple of streams and i thank god for it um especially with moving around the buildings and all of that i do want to eventually adopt another pet so let me see So, you found a kitty in Destiny? That's precious. Um, but yeah, I'm a. Those are the things that I've been wanting to do. Also, I want to do cooking. Okay, and I need to get back to Ginger Island for the pineapples to complete that quest so prayerfully we can get back there tomorrow on the next stream little thanks bro I appreciate it I love cats I love fluffy babies but I think I think that's it so I've updated my list and I'll continue working on progressing with that in the next stream um, I plan to capitalize on Ginger Island content in the next stream because I really didn't, I, I did not get a chance to go over there today. All right, bro. I'm going to be back tomorrow, Lord one. Thanks, Ice. I appreciate it. I'm going to support my uncle. His, his brother passed away. Um, he married into the family, so his brother is not my direct relative, but I'm going to support him because he, he's always been. Him and his family have always been there to support um, me. So, I, I want to be there to support him. Lord willing. Don't do anything I won't do. Bro. Bro, you. I feel like you're the person that nobody can sit next to at funerals. Like, you just. I feel like you're the person that it's just like if there's a funeral, if there's something serious going on, just don't, don't sit next to. Don't sit next to you. I feel like, uh-uh, I feel, I feel like you're the one that's just like, you can't sit next to, can't sit next to them. Child, I done been in, I done been in, um, funerals and stuff in, like, churches, like, smaller, like, I would say more, like, stereotypical churches, and I've been to funerals in them, in the people, child, I done sat next to people with, um, talk, like, just, Roasting people's shoes, saying they got roach killer shoes on, and um, I went to I can't even remember. Oh, I remember who passed away now. So one of my cousins, her father in law passed away, and I was sitting next to my other cousin, which is her brother, and he kept roasting the mess out of. The, now he's a musician. He kept roasting the mess out of the um the pianist who was there. And he kept like, cause like, you know how like pianos, like they'll have, and even keyboards, they'll have the pads that you press down on with your foot or whatever while you're playing. He kept like pressing like fake pads with his feet and like, like doing his fingers like he was playing the keys. 
I had to turn around. I had to turn my back to him in the seat. Like, um, we were sitting in pews. I had to I had to just shift my whole like I just I didn't have no back support. I was I was laughing so bad and it was a serious funeral and it was just like uh uh-uh. uh. You said that would be you. I uh uh-uh. uh you you that person that nobody can sit next to you in funerals. It's just like and I understand, you know, people they can use laughter as a mechanism to keep from crying and that is how some people cope with grief. And it's just like, but I was like, uh-uh. If that's see, usually in funerals, of course I'm be I'm be sitting there, I'm be serious. You know, like I'm be serious. Like, but it's just, oh my gosh. Like I, I've been in such compromising positions sitting next to the wrong people at funerals. Especially if they come with the mess, messed up wigs or hairdos. Bro, I ain't sitting next to you. No, no funeral, no nothing serious. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Child. I done sat next to people in church services. They were trying to show me stuff on their phones. And this is like the pastor is preaching. How are you like intentionally not even try to like even try to fake paying attention? You big grown. In the video would be something wild and out of the, like out of, just out of the question. It's just like, why are you showing me this? At least try to pretend to act like you paying attention to something. Like, uh, uh-uh. uh, you you that you you feel I feel like you're just the exact person to not sit next to in a funeral. Now I have the Bible on my phone too. I use my phone uh, to take notes and I have the Bible app on my phone and I use it because I like to. So when the pastor is preaching from a sermon, a certain selection, I'll copy the uh, the scripture uh, verses from the Bible app and paste it in my notes. So it'll be right there. It's very convenient. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about people. They got full fledged videos and they're not kids. Because, you know, kids, they'll have the... I'm not going to expect a young child to pay attention in church with comprehension. You know, once they get a certain age, it's just like, okay, pay attention. But it's just like when they're that young, like, you know, toddlers, you give them a tablet and you give them... You either have them listen to it on silent or you give them their earbuds and you or the headphones... And you put it on the uh, that you put headphones on because it's not safe to use earbuds with them that young, in case they get the get the thing stuck in their ears. It's just like you you put little headphones on them, you give them the tablet, and they're good. And that's a blessing that they're quiet in church. That's a blessing. Keep maintaining that. How the how you allow them to uh, act at home is how they're going to act in public, regardless of the scenario or situation. But my thing is, is just like um. I'm talking about big grown, big grown people. Hey, look at this. Can you please try to pretend that you're paying attention? Like, yeah, I've had, I've had, I've, I've had some pretty wild encounters in church before. Like, I had this one dude that tried to pull me, and he tried to. Well, let me say that better, cause that was slang. He tried to, he wanted, he wanted to, he wanted to get in a relationship with me. Even though I called him on it because I was, I I literally told him I didn't want to be in a relationship with him because he messaged me. And, and then he was just like, that's not what I want to talk to you about. And so I was like, okay. So I met him with him at church the next day. And to make a long story short, like he He tried to butter me up or whatever by saying, like, oh, my gosh, you pay attention in church. I love the way you worship. Da-da-da-da-da. And so, yeah, you say, that's good, bro. Pay attention while the pastor's talking. That's real good. But it's like, um, he was trying to butter me up by, like, oh, I love the way you worship. You're different, and you don't just fake worship. I can tell it's real worship, and I can tell you really have a great um relationship with god and your heart is good stuff like that dude sat next to me in church he tried to pull me over into his little corner in the back next to his little friends where he could probably get away with whatever but i was like no you're coming right to the front and you're gonna sit next to me so if there's cameras and the cameras catch you you know you're you're if you're gonna try to pull anything off because you already lied to me so if you're gonna try to pull anything off is going to be in broad daylight, not in the back. 
And so pr- pretty much um, we said that I would always sit in the front. And so um, child, he pretty much, he basically, he wasn't sitting on my lap, but he was sitting next to me so closely. There were no gaps. So I physically kept moving away from him, like literally. He kept trying to put his arm around me, touching me. And I'm like, bro, uh-uh. Now, um, so the church where this occurred, like it was very, it's my home church. And I left there some years ago, not for bad reasons, but God was leading me in a different direction. I started attending the church that I left about a year ago, or it's been over a year ago now, but, but this, this happened years ago, but pretty much like he, um, the church was, is very like friendly, you know, greet your neighbor with a hug. This was all pre COVID. So it was just like, greet your neighbor with a hug. Say, how you doing? He gave me one of those nasty rub down hugs right there. It was so filthy. And I'm like, bro, like what would he would have done if I would have sat in the back next to him and his friends? Like in this same dude. So I turned him down. Okay. I, I basically sent him on his way and Whenever I sent him on his way again, because I tried the first time, he lied and said he didn't want to be in a relationship with me. But then he tried to get in a relationship with me. Okay, for real. Like, for real, Ice. Like, for real. So, like, so to make a long... So, I basically turned him... I turned... I Not basically. I did turn him down. And so, literally... So, I never unfriended him from Facebook because I wasn't... Like, I wasn't thinking like that. I just wanted to get away and just leave him be or whatever. Now, he tried to talk to me a couple of times. After that encounter, I I literally said nothing to him and just went about my way. Because it's just like, how are you going to lie? And then literally physically rub on me in church in broad daylight. And you basically, you're literally all up on me in the pew. I had to put, so I put my purse and I put my tablet long ways between me and him so he couldn't like literally sit on me. It was very gross and disgusting. It was violating, like literally violating me. So I blew a whole bunch of physical space between us and basically told him to get going. So back to Facebook, I never unfriended him. Just like a year or so later. Like a year and some change later, about two years later, I see him post, uh, a post to him popped up on my timeline and I forgot I, he was still on my friends list. And he, he, it was a picture of a baby boy and was in the caption was just like, I'd like to say a, a happy first birthday to my son. So I started counting on my fingers It was his son's first birthday. And the time period between where his baby mama had to conceive that child and carry the child, if if she carried the child for the full nine months, it would have been around the same time. No, not would have been. It was around the same time that he was trying to talk to me. So either he already had the other girl pregnant or he ran and got her pregnant right after, like, we had that situation or whatever. Like, and that's the child. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now I'm like, and, and my jaw dropped. I was like, bro, what? Because he came to me, he approached me trying to sound deep and junk. Yeah, yeah, like, it was just, he tried to sound deep, like, he tried to, like, reel me in with compliments, and then, but, I mean, for more reasons than one, I just wasn't interested in him, like, for more than one reason, so it didn't matter what he would have said to me, like, it was just like, okay, I don't want you, and then when he lied to me, I'm like, okay, that's real aggressive, for you to lie to me, especially with what I told him. And so I'm like, okay, so, okay. So I told him, I was like, there was somebody else because in my heart, I just knew I wasn't going to marry him 
for more reasons than one. Like I said, I was I, I just didn't want anything to do with him like in that capacity. Like because I just wasn't attracted to him for more than one reason. So when I said that there was somebody else, it wasn't that I was talking to anybody else. I just knew God had somebody else for me and it wasn't him. And because he was just a turn off for multiple reasons for me. So when I told him there was somebody else, he still tried to say, oh, I'm not trying to get with you. And then he turns around and tries to get with me literally in church. And he sat down and tried to make it sound deep by saying he had a vision that we was together. Okay, together doing what? Your vision is vague. God isn't vague on the details when, well, let me rephrase that. God doesn't have to give us every detail because he does not, God literally does not give us all the details, actually. The thing is, God provides clarity in spirit. So you can lack details, but you can, like, God can assure you by faith that, okay, I'm going in the right direction. If God hasn't given me any other instructions, if I keep putting my hand to the plow in this area and I keep seeking God in this area and he isn't changing my directions, that's what I call clarity of spirit. And so I'm like, your vision, I didn't say this to him, but I'm like, you know, his vision was lacking so many details leading me where? He, he no doubt had plans to lead me into a bed somewhere or a couch or whatever because it's just like, bro, What? And he wanted to pull me into his corner with his friends. And so the thing is, is just that the church, the church that I came from, my home church is large and there's, there is well lit. Okay. There's a lot of lights, but you know, naturally as you get closer to the back of the church, it's darker, like under the balcony area, it's still well lit, but it's a little darker. Naturally there's a shadow, there's a shade, um, from the balconies. Okay. So it's well lit. It's not like a church where you see most of the um, more, how do I call it? Like more, I guess, a contemporary church is usually dark, completely with spotlights only on the stage. Nah, like this church has lights throughout the entire um, sanctuary, the entire whole, it is called the worship center. It has, it's well lit throughout the entire room. But the, the balconies make a natural shade over the back back farther back sections the pews in the church and so he wanted to sit back there where it was shady literally shady and darker with his friends and so it was just kind of like no i'm sitting up here in the front with the cameras if the cameras pan and you do something wild and crazy they can see you because his spirit was screaming like danger i was going to say stranger danger i mean you might as well say stranger danger because I, I didn't know him personally um i worked in the youth ministry at that church and so i already had him on my friends list because we had been to like multiple functions like at the same time like he was there i was there i would see him in passing and so he sent me a friend request one day and i added him because i was like oh this is the dude from church no no communication and so like no direct communication or anything. And so this, we were friends on Facebook for months, probably a year before this mess even happened. So no communication whatsoever until that situation. And so my spirit was already feeling some kind of way. Cause I was upset because I was trying to shake him off and he wasn't, he wasn't budging. And then it's just like, what you lied to me. And then you try to, like, no, 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 no. If you're going to lie to me to try to get me to be with you in church, you're not, you're not, you're going to go where I want to go, not where you want to go. Because you already made me feel, you got me feeling kind of upset. And then, because he wanted to be, so church, uh, their church service, their early service starts at 8 a.m. He wanted to me to get there extra early so we could talk. I rolled up at like. 7.50 the plan was 7.30 I could tell he was lying to me so I'm like uh uh 7.50 I'll get there when I get there so I rolled up at like 7.50 ish around that time and then he has the audacity to look at me in my eyes and say I thought we were supposed to get here earlier I said I'm here now what do you want 
Like, he had a whole lot of extra audacity for breakfast. Like, girl, I just, it was, it was so annoying. Like, it, it, it was like one of those situations. It's just like, bro, I really don't want you. There's nothing any, there's nothing that you could say to make me change my mind. It was one of those situations where I wasn't even going to get with him. Even if the circumstances say he didn't lie to me from the start or whatever, I still wasn't going to get with him. Like, it's just, it was one of those situations where it's just like, like, bro, you're not an option for me for more than one reason. So, like, what you mean? Like, and you have, you have the audacity to roll up and talk to me like that? I'm here now. You already lied to me. I'm here now. What do you want? And then he was like, well, we can go in there and sit down. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Because I didn't want to sit next to him during the service. I just did not. And so that's when he tried to get me to go in his area. And I was like, no, I'm sitting up here. And then he went and he talked to one of his other friends. And his other friends was turning around and staring at me. So I don't even know what he told that friend. And... But I just, I literally physically blew space between us because he was literally, literally all up on me. Literally. Like. <clears throat> but yeah, child. Like, I just. And he tried to talk to me a couple of times after that or whatever. And then after a period of time, he left that, he left the church. He left that particular church. He started going someplace else. Because he's one of the musicians. So he started playing at another at another church. But. <clears throat> but some. I done, I done sit next to some of the. Some. Some different kinds of people. In church services and stuff before. Funerals. Um, I haven't really had any problems at weddings. Which thank God. The worst wedding experience I had, this one girl, she got married on, on my birthday. To make a long story short, she was late to her own wedding. It was an outdoor wedding. It was literally almost 100 degrees. It was my birthday. I wanted, I didn't take a picture before I went to the wedding. So by the time I did get a chance to take my picture, my makeup had melted off because of the heat. And the picture didn't come out as great as it could have. But, you know, I did the best I could. All to say, years later, she ended up divorcing a man. For for reasons that I've heard alleged. So, it's just like, that, that's the most, but that they ain't got nothing to do with, that has nothing to do with, like, me sitting next to somebody. That was just me sitting next to the sun. Yeah, it was wild. Not Mr. Brown. Bro, Lord have mercy. I'm gonna be praying for sweets. Cause Lord Jesus. I'm a, I'm gonna issue some prayers for you too. She will kick you out the building if you run up dressed like Mr. Brown. Or I'll be already at the altar dressed like Mr. Brown. She'll be coming down the she'll she'll open like the that she'll go to come down the aisle. If she see you dressed like Mr. Brown, she'll probably turn and, and walk out and be all like, change clothes or I'm going home. Bro, uh -uh, don't do not do that mess. Don't do that. Because that's, that's wild behavior. <laughs> Not for a wedding, bro. That's your first wedding. Your first and only wedding. That's not what you're trying to do. Like, those pictures last forever. Just to have go back and be all like, I was Mr. Brown T. Like, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Ready to have my white cowboy boots on, ashy knees and elbows, tight white shirt that I wrote FUBU on and marked with a bow tie and small black shorts on. Uh, uh ice this 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 not uh uh mm -mm. nope are you familiar with mr brown and um 
What's it called? Oh my gosh. We sh he he appeared in a couple of Tyler Perry plays. Um, it's played by David Mann, Tamla Mann's husband. Um, I want to say Diary of a Mad Black Woman, but he's a they they've appeared in a couple of he's appeared his character has appeared in a couple of Tyler Perry productions. Like, um, and the Medea one specifically too. It's the Medea ones. Ugly Shirt of the Month Club? I'm not familiar with that. He has his own stand uh, standalone play as well. He said Ugly Shirt of the Month Club. Hold up. I, uh uh, Mr. Brown is. He's talking about. Look up Mr. Brown Medea. If you just do a Google image shirt, uh, Google image search for Mr. Brown Medea, meet the Browns. Okay, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, meet the Browns. I said Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Yeah, meet the Browns, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's that that's that's nothing uh uh. That is not wedding attire. That's rebukable. Bro, uh uh. Don't don't get rebuked. <laughs> mm mm. I haven't seen any of his personal things. I may just have to look into it over the course of time, little one. When the dark, what's done in the dark comes to the light. Hold up. Okay, what's it's called what's done in the dark. Got you, got you. It's been a while since I've seen it. Meet the Browns play was good. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It's been a long time since I've seen any of like Tyler Perry's anything. You like the movie better? I feel like movies they have like a different setting because you can see like different scenes and stuff whereas where it's just a play they're just basically confined in one space. Actually, I'll be the person at the grave saying amazing grave. Bro. Uh-uh. They did that, didn't they? I'm not a fan of plays or movies. Do you watch TV shows? I done seen some wild stuff, like some wild videos about um, just unhinged people at uh, funerals and stuff. I done seen all kinds of stuff on social media. It's just like, it's just like, at what point do you take the mic away? You know, like, because it's just like, man, they grieving. But it's just like, uh-uh. Sit them down. Because it might be grief, but it's not appropriate grief. Or it's not a po an appropriate way to grieve, I should say. I 
haven't seen the movie in a... I can't... Did I see the movie or the play? Hold up. definitely saw the play because this has um what's her name in it chloe when she was younger chloe bailey i definitely saw the play you just saw the tv show You'll make that scene from the movies. When? You should do it and post it on TikTok. I didn't see the TV show. I think, if anything, I saw the play. If anything. But it's been so long. Like, I saw it was, man, it's been so long ago. I can I barely remember anything from it. The last time I saw Tyler Perry anything was probably I think I, I it was Witness Protection. That was the last Tyler Perry movie I saw. That came out in 2012. My gosh. Ooh, so it's been about a decade. It's been over a decade because I saw it at the theaters. You just saw the TV show? <sighs> Excuse me. I think I... No, I didn't see a Medea Christmas. Mm-mm. I'm looking at... Um, Tyler Perry stuff now and I'm trying to figure out how many um I, 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 there are a lot of Tyler Perry things I just haven't seen. And I'm realizing it right now. Like, I've heard about a lot of these, I just hadn't seen a lot of these. Wow. Child. That's so funny. That's wild. Uh, -uh. not bet. It's it's funny. It's wild, but it's it's wild. I'm not I'm not fun to beg nobody to do that to me. I don't care if it's for a role. <laughs> like them people that be willing to get in caskets for the role and stuff for real. For even for a role. Uh. Uh. Mm. Uh. -uh. Was that was that the one where she was in the movie and she no somebody fell into a burial plot like they had put the casket in there already in the hole and somebody fell like a character fell into the plot it was part of the movie they fell into it and then they 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 jumped out of it which one was that also which one was the movie where um Medea was like the the lady was in there playing grit ball. <laughs> Wait, I got I got Google right here. Hold up. <laughs> that was Medea family reunion. <laughs> terrible 
Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. You could be, you could be right. Um, I just looked at the first thing that came up. Uh, it says Medea's family reunion, hot grits. <laughs> Cause I, I specifically remember it. I remember Grit Ball. I remember, cause he was he was beating the mess out of her and abusing the mess out of her and um, I think he was cheating on her too, and he demanded her to have everything. Blair Underwood either plays somebody. He's he's his he either plays like abusive characters or like a sex symbol. There's like no in between. I haven't found one movie where Blair Underwood is acting in it where he's either not being portrayed as a sex symbol or he is being an abusive like figure like of an abusive husband specifically like he he those are always the, the two types of characters that he plays <clears throat> Excuse me, and that was just like, and he started screaming, and it was just like, what are they, what's going on back there? Medea was like, she's just playing some grit ball. Ooh, child. I don't know, something about that scene just made me laugh real hard. But, um, I mean, I guess it was just like, she was getting her own justice or whatnot. Because that was just all her pain, her pain, just coming out, or whatever. Because if you ever cook grits, and they start boiling, they start like popping. You know, it's right before you gotta basically turn it off. And um, but you know, it it, it they'll be they'll be kind of watery, so you gotta let some of that water cook down out of it. So you gotta put the lid on it. But because grits, it doesn't. It's not, it's liquidy, it's too liquidy to, it's too liquidous to um, eat as regular grits, but it's, it's not liquidy enough to the point where it'll just roll off your skin. So if you get popped with some boiling grits, it'll just sit on your skin like heavy and it can burn really badly. So that was like torture, literally. Oh my gosh. It's after four. I've been talking for over 30 minutes. It was a good 30 minutes. Went by very quickly. I enjoyed it. But, um. But, yeah. So, I won't be streaming on Wednesday. All that to say, I won't be streaming on Wednesday. Um, because I was like, funeral. And then Zay, you was like, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And we got into this conversation. It was a great conversation. And I enjoyed it. But yeah, I won't be live on Wednesday, but I will be back live again tomorrow, Lord willing, at around 1.30, between 1.30 and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But yeah, I'm going to wrap it up, y'all. Thank y'all so much for chilling with me, and I pray and hope y'all had fun. I'm going to pray this out, and I'm going to let y'all go. Heavenly Father, Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for this live stream. Thank you so much for the communication, God, and for the fellowship. Thank you for blessing us with your presence in this atmosphere god i ask that you continue to move and have your way in our lives that you uh bless those of us who are here now those who were here earlier and those who will watch the replay um ask that we'll experience and um receive the favor and the blessings and the gifts and things you have for us be it internally and externally the internal rest that you have for us so that even though when we go through things, we won't have to struggle through them. I know you got us, God, and I praise and bless your name and thank you that you do. Thank you so much for it all, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, y'all. The chicks are outside? Oh. Could you please send me pictures of them? I love fluffy babies. Thanks for sharing that with me. I appreciate it. Thanks. 
All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. But before I do that, there's one thing I don't want you guys to forget. And that's the fact that I love you guys, but Jesus loves us all best. God bless. Bye. Mwah. I no go fit ever hungry again for this life because I'm at a gay restaurant. Hey, oh the napa. I no feel lucky to suffer. How I want start to the count all the blessings that the only thing I they suffer. I get to shock off past because I'm at a de carry myself. When I they talk about the mara, no me that get ready set for that supermarket. So what do you mean? Amarachi, Amarachi, Amarachi. Now they run out for me. Amarachi, Amarachi. Amarachi, they did run out for me. Hey, Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi Kuka. Amarachi. Thank you.